Welcome, everybody, back to the Branded Film and Media Podcast. This, I think this is episode nine, maybe. I think so. We're, <laughs> we're still working we're through that. that. Yeah, I think it's episode nine. Um, and we're here, Branded Film and Media Studio. Today, we have a very special guest. We've got Jeremiah Green with Crown Fabrication hello, hello. in the house today. Um, Case and Caraway here as usual. And then we are missing Miss Marie today. Um, she's feeling a little under the weather, so hoping she's uh, getting well soon. She's yeah. better better get better because she's got a big week this week reunion coming up. So oh man, I know it's gonna it. be busy for y'all. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's all been good. It's all the Cooper's already been out there quite a bit, but you're actually familiar with reunion, and I, we were just talking about that. I didn't even <laughs> um, kind of a long story with that, but you know, Jeremiah's been with Branded Film and Media since probably the very kind of explain that real quick to oh, the listeners. How long see, you been I, with Marie? I started in. Uh, Started business in June of 16. Um, indicator. Yeah, Indicator. Yeah, so I was a teacher at Alvord, Ward, uh, which is where I first learned about reunion. You know, all the kids come in. I was, you know, high school class, ag class. I'm like, oh, man, you hear what happened at reunion? Or, you know, <laughs> hey, did you see that? Or whatever, you know, whatever yeah. the case would be. And um, <clears throat> that's where I heard about reunion first. But, uh, yeah, so I, had, I started business in June of 2016. And... Uh, I remember I was just getting going, you know, I was trying to get my feet underneath me. I started, I didn't have a client one lined out. I mean, I just like cold turkey, mm-hmm. quit my job, you know, start pursuing my dream. And, and, uh, like metal fabrication. Yeah, metal fabrication. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I got a welder now and I got chop saw and I cut and torch. <laughs> That's pretty wow. much the extent of it. Um, mm-hmm. but uh, I, I started doing that and, uh, a couple months in, um, I started doing some work for Mark Airy mm-hmm. and uh, started getting to know him really good and became friends with him. He said, you know, you should really uh, contact Marie. She's, you know, she handles my stuff and it's really like beneficial. Social media related. Yeah, Marketing social related. media related. Yeah, just get, getting your name out there. And I thought, okay, you know. Um, so I called Marie. She came in. It was just, I had my little bitty shop. I mean, it was 40 by 40 is all I had then. And it was uh, like wide open, you know, and uh so I didn't have much going on at the time. I was just starting out. And and she said, uh, you know, sat down and talked me through it, told me what she did, you know, kind of what the process was, um, and told me the price. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll think about that. Mm-hmm. At the same time, I'm, you know, still trying to get going. I was like, man, I don't know if I can really justify that. You know, right, that's, that's absolutely. A, that was a big thing for me. You know, I, was just, I didn't know <laughs> if I could really justify it. I had somebody who's, you know, very successful in business giving me this advice. I trusted what he said, but I'm going, okay, can I really take that on? because <laughs> or or do i eat tonight you know <laughs> so I get it. um but so it took me a little while but so i met marie right there probably within the first couple months of being in business and um i said man you know so i kept hearing her name hearing her name and uh getting contact and even at that time i she was still promoting me you know she's yeah, still that's the truth yeah she was still like hey you know uh I met this guy, I gave him your name or whatever. You know, it might've been a month before I seen her again, yeah. but she said, you know, I met this guy, gave him your name. I'm like, Oh yeah, I got that job. You know, um, like, <laughs> that's, that's so nice. Like, that's awesome. So I finally just took the plunge. I was like, okay, I'm going to take the plunge. I'm just going to do it. You know, I, and we're just going to see, I told her, I said, you know, we're going to go a couple months. I said, no, it's going to take, you know, maybe one, two months, yeah. something like that to start building up and, uh, just start, you know, actually being able to see some income off of this. And uh, what I learned <clears throat> in that first couple months, yeah, my my Facebook got better. My social media got better in general. Because, I, I mean, I'm just a dude, you mm-hmm. know, like, oh, man, that's really cool. I'm really proud of that. Click, post it, no description, you know, just what, yeah. is what it is. The typical posting. Yeah, the typical posting, know. you know. And um, there's no explanation in, you know, not saying I can't do that, but I don't. So I get it. That's that's why I hired her, and she started doing that for me. But she started promoting me, and every every time I went somewhere, met with somebody. Oh yeah, Marie. She told me to contact you. She told me to uh, get in touch with you, and and so I actually got a lot more business from her, just being like a local influencer, mm-hmm. than I did from social media. So yeah. she's out there pounding my name around i mean she was, she was getting it. my name out there and and 
So that really did leaps and bounds for me. And then my social media started to grow. So between her doing that for me, just word of mouth, get my name out there, spreading around, yep. and and the social media, those two combined to really give me the boost. And so, you know, people tell me, is it really worth it? I'm like, yes, it's worth it. You wow. know? And so, you know, again, I didn't start off right very beginning of my business because I just simply couldn't justify it. Which is normal. Which is normal, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. But um, anytime I see somebody who's starting a business or, uh, you know, has been open for a couple months or whatever, so, hey, you, you should really consider going this route, doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, I know when I went to uh, 777 Barbecue, yep. and I, I told him, I said, you know, I got talking with him, just catching up, got to know, you know, we Curry knew a couple person. people. Yeah, got to know, we knew a couple people, the same people, yep. talking, and, and he knew my business through social media, and um, <clears throat> And it started really working. I said, he's, I said, man, you said, you really need to contact Branded mm -hmm. FM and say, you know, get, get Marie or Kaysen or, uh, you know, down here, talk to you. And um, I said that they really do you some good. And ironically, I think I walked in the door the next day. Yeah, it? I wasn't too far off, yeah. too, too long after that, I don't think so. Well, he had talked to me a couple of times and I had sure enough needed something. So yeah, went in there and that was uh, kind of fun just to impromptu make a video for him. Yeah, and it's, it's a cool place, man. Yeah, I'm, he did a good job. I'm kind of, I'm not a barbecue snob, but I really enjoy it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, it's really neat to have that here in Decatur to where you can hop in there and get, you know, quality seasonings or, yeah. or pellets or whatever. No, he's doing a, he'll do good things. But back to the, you know, the taking the leap of faith and to taking on social media, it's, um, it's, it's, it can be done by somebody. Yes. But, you and I were talking before we started how busy everybody is and right. how, how crazy it is. And, you know, hopefully one thing that branded film and media does is take a load off of you in one avenue that yet also has you return on your investment. Yeah, And you, you felt that. But I, he spoke more about the community aspect of it than he did what the heck we're posting for him, you know. Well, yeah, I, think it, I think it goes hand in hand to what branded does for a, you know for a business and mm -hmm. i mean i can vouch for that 100 percent. you know i've been so i think me and marie have been working together for you know roughly four years yep. right in the four year mark maybe a little over maybe a little under something like that i'm right there with you when my my real estate she was i was one of her first clients if yeah. you weren't the first i was probably right after you i don't remember it was right there yeah together. it was it was, it was uh, i think she had she had a couple i know she just kind of started up but yep. i mean it's very intriguing because you know, like I said, I can post stuff. Sure, everybody's capable of taking a picture, posting on Facebook. But will you really do it? Mm. I came to the conclusion of no, I won't really do it. Yeah, like I'm chasing the next job. I'm making sure my clients are happy. I'm not worried about what my post looks like or what emoji to put in or something. Yeah, or, you know, or or what time of day yeah. to post or what day to post it. You know, all these things to consider. I just that wasn't in my. You know, like I said, I'm like, oh wow, I'm really proud of that. Click post it just plain Jane and there was nothing to it. So yep. I never grew. Um, so I came to the realization that I'm not going to do it. I'm going to pay somebody to do it. Yep. And it, I mean, it, it, it comes back and it's, it's very beneficial. I, I can't believe he's not from here. You know, now I feel like he's just one of us, you know, <laughs> it's so cool yeah. to me that transplant, well, mm -hmm. I, you know, move <laughs> in or something, whatever we call them. And, and it, it's, it's awesome to know. And I've Cooper and I've talked about this so many times is that, social media marketing can break the barrier of not being around from oh, here. Definitely, so yeah. you, he has a community. He's a part of a community, not only all the effort, everything you do in town and all that, but you have a social media community that supports you and follows you. And right. I, mean, I mean, I knew you before I even saw your face, <laughs> you know, because of social media and, yeah. and that's what's so cool. So tell, tell the listeners where are you from and where you, what, I, what's your story? I'm from Borger, Texas. Uh, Borger, that's just Borger. Golly, I used to, I used to think it was border. No, you know, Borger. It's not too far from the you know northern border. Right. Um, no, it's just Borger. Borger. I mean, you know, I'm not going to say I'm uh, ashamed of where I came from. You know, yeah. I've got had a good upbringing there and and uh, learned some good life skills there. But uh, very shortly after I graduated, I I moved and uh, started attending college at Charleston State University. Okay. So I went there and I have a equine science degree which does me a whole lot of nothing right now <laughs> um but uh <laughs> but i learned a lot yeah. right so it's not exactly what you go in to get it for you know what you come out with your major is whatever but i learned a lot um you know schooling's great i think it did a lot of good for me 
am I using my degree? No, but am I using my degree? Yes. You know, I'm, it, it, what it instills in you, I think, is very important. And, mm-hmm. you know, there's nothing wrong with, with going to college or there's nothing wrong with not going to college. It's kind of whatever. Bitch, yep. So. Got the Tarleton degree. Got the Tarleton degree. Yeah. So I got that. And I was a uh, stables manager and uh, at Seven R Ranch in Gordon, Texas. I listed a house in there one time, and uh, that place property. blew me away. And yeah, then it's when, awesome. When I met your brother, he told me that you worked there, and I was like, I know the exact stable he worked at. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, I lived in that stable, lived upstairs, me and my wife Capri, and, and uh, it's kind of a crazy time to look back on. You know, it's like you don't got any kids. It's like ah, that's cool, man. Yeah. You, know, you can do what you do. You know, yeah, I love to do it. Yeah, I love to do it, and um, I still have a passion for it. I don't actively pursue that passion right now Mm -hmm. um but uh i loved it and we had our first kid or you know jed he's nine years old now and we're like okay well now what because i work crazy hours you know i was there all the time anytime somebody walked in the stable you know whether it be nine ten o'clock eleven o'clock at night i could could hear them because my bedroom was right above them Mm -hmm. you know i hear them walking around closing doors so Make sure everything's all right. Make sure I know who it is, that kind of thing. And we're like, okay, well, let's, let's change up life a little bit. Let's, you know, let's do something different. I had a really good friend of mine call me and say, hey, have you ever thought about ag teaching? I said, you know, really funny you asked that because I loved ag. I was a FFA officer in high school, you know, a couple of years. And, and uh, I said, yeah, I'd, I'd like that. I said, I've actually kind of thought about that some. He said, well, wow. he said, would you be interested in coming down to Comanche teach? Yeah. I said, uh, yeah, I don't have a teaching degree. And he said, well, that's okay. We can get around that. He said, you know, you can get emergency certified. He said, but <clears throat> I know what you, I know who you are. I know your knowledge about animals and, and animal husbandry and all that fun stuff. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll come talk. So I went down there, start talking. Uh, really liked the idea of teaching. Um, and then I, I got in it and they said, Hey, can you weld? I'm like, well, yeah, you know, I took welding classes. It's kind of just, uh, general thing you know right. in my families you know yep. you can weld you can build your own stuff I said well can you teach it sure yeah i can teach that i can teach kids how to weld so that's what i started out as i went in wow. there to teach animal husbandry and equine science which i did but i also taught shop classes and that's really where my love for fabrication uh grew from because i got to uh build cool things you know teach kids how to weld and fabricate and cut and do all that neat stuff so comanche to Alvor, we went up to Alvor because Capri, her family's from Keller area, and uh, you know I'm from Borger, so well, I love the Panhandle, but I don't really love the Panhandle. I don't want to live there, you know. Um, so I said, well, let's kind of find somewhere in between, and uh, Alvor popped up, and I went to visit. I really love the area. I said, man, it's beautiful, you know, yeah. beautiful around here, and uh, started teaching Alvor. Taught there for three years. I did not know that. Yeah, I, mean, I, knew Ta- I was an ag teacher for three years in Alvor, so. Um, is is a good time. You met a lot of people through. I that, met huh? a lot of people. Yeah, I met a lot of people through that, and uh, still contacts I keep up with on a you know semi daily basis. Wow. You know, uh, so I had a lot of really good relationship building through Alvord, and then I had a guy tell me um, his name is Bill Winters. He said uh, we built a project. He said he said can you build a smoker? I want a smoker for my business. I said yeah, I can build a smoker. He said I said well, what do you want? He said. I don't, he said, Jeremiah, I don't know. He said, build it how you would build it. I said, said, uh, that's a pretty dangerous statement. (laughs) (laughs) You know, and, uh, but I'm extremely grateful for him because he, uh, you know, he, he said, well, let's, let's do it. I want something that stands out. And so I put a lot of time into that and we built a really amazing uh, smoker that, you know, it's a race platform slid out. And um, so is this one of the ones like a, is this, is it like had a cover over it? That kind of trailer? Yeah, it had, a, had, it an awning, had an typical? awning, had an awning, electric awning that you could push a button, awning wow. go out, but it had onboard water, you know. Oh, you're uh, talking big time. Yeah, so it's it's really cool. It is really neat. I haven't seen anything else like it since we built it because um, it slid out. So it's just like a camper slide out, RV slide out, it slid <laughs> out, and you put the little floor down. Jeremiah. Yeah, a big old. And it used to be, we had it at Reunion one year. Um, he I did. probably saw it, but I wasn't even yeah. paying attention to So it was a big time. blue trailer. It had a lot of polished aluminum all over it. So um got done building it we took kids uh, the kids that built it uh, three high schoolers and we i toted them all around texas showing that thing you know getting to show off what they did and um he came to me and said jeremiah I said what are you going to do when you're done teaching 
thought, well, it's a good question, you know. I mean, I mean I've thought about maybe some different career path. And right. He said, he said, I love teachers. I used to be a teacher. I got teachers in my family. But he said, you got something special, yeah. something to think about. I said, okay, I'll think about it. He said, well, when you do think about it, call me and let's meet up for dinner. Okay. And um, so I did that and uh, went and talked to him. I said, you know, thought about it. I'm going to start my own fabrication company. He said, man, that's great. That's what I wanted to hear. You know? Yeah. So I said, okay. Well, um, and he did. He helped me, like, buy my first welder, you know, and uh, kind of got me on my feet. So I'm extremely grateful for him and that family. Um, then after that, I mean, he's kind of like, okay, you know, you got a couple things. And I've, I helped you get a couple things, and he really helped me with the legalities, you know, uh, getting set up and LLC and all that fun Thank stuff. Yes. So that was extremely helpful at the time, and because I was clueless, I was, you know, I'm not was not a businessman, mm-hmm. had no business mindset, period. Um, but he helped me get started there, and and uh, he said, if you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. If not, you don't. He said, but it's up to you now. Like, okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> you know, so, but it was, it was fun. Um, and I uh, said, so I'm extremely grateful for, uh, for him and, and his wife, Tamara, that uh, encouraged me to start my own business and, and to, you know, pursue that because it's opened up so much for me and yes. so much for my family and, and really for relationships around Decatur. Because even though I lived in Decatur, taught in Alvord, I really didn't know that many people in Decatur. Oh, no, I can't imagine. If you're not, no. I mean, how do you? You don't, you know. Um, and but I've, I've really, really enjoyed it being here, uh, or being here in Decatur, and uh, getting to know people here. And I mean, this is my home. Uh-huh. Like Decatur is my home. You know, so people so say, "Where are you from?" I don't say Borger. I say Decatur. Yeah, that's you know, cool, that's, man. That's where I live. That's where I reside. That's where my family is. So, Trooper, have you ever thought about where you came up with the name Crown? Yeah, I've always wondered where you got. I, I had because I, 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 I was sitting at it, looking at it, because you know you always had the coolest hat, so he's always got the shirt. He's always representing, and I love that. But yeah, yeah. the word crown, and I get it, but I don't get it. So crown, uh, I put a lot of thought into that because that's one thing that always stuck out to me uh, is you know business names, like you know you want a business name that is you know simplistic or you know unique, but something that represents you. And I always, when I started in business, I wanted to be known as a guy who builds quality stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to be, I want to be the upper end. I, that's what I, str- you know, that's what I strive for. Um, You're not on building a daily H, basis. H braces every day. No. And that's just, it. you know, I'm not, yeah. I'm not rafter G or something. And yeah. there's nothing against those, you know, those guys, those make, they do quality work for what they do, but I'm, I'm different. Mm-hmm. I do, I do shop work and we do field work as well. Um, but shop work, custom shop work is where I started out at. So, uh, now I put a lot of thought into it and, um, thought, you know, what's more majestic than a, a crown crown. And so it's on the top, the crown, and then I got, you know, there's four points to the crown, got four family members, me and my wife, my two boys. Ooh, so I like it, um, has some depth to it, I guess. No, it's definitely yeah, love noticeable. That. You could always, it could get to the point where even that crown part of it could be the most simplest part of like that could be yeah. what you're pushing. and i do sometimes when i brand stuff like fire pitch or something like that i'll just put the crown on there i won't That's put the cool. wording like a stamp on it almost. yeah you know so it's it's not like in your face but it's it's something because i i want people to be proud of owning something that i built because i put in amy and my guys all we all put our hard work into it and we, we take great pride in what we do yes. so i want other people to understand that and to take pride in trust it as well. me i know I get it. I, I, I've thought about it many times. It's like, man, I really would like to have like an offset smoker, but you know, it, watching what you've built for like your, you know, your future sister-in-law, yeah, you know, yeah. like dog box. I'm like, <laughs> I can't yeah, imagine what smoker would turn out to I know be. it, right? Like that was like one of my first real introductions to the type of work that you do. And you say that you're different. You say that, you know, you're not doing these H braces and, Mm -hmm. you know, not that there's anything wrong with that, like we said, but that was my first introduction, um, to your work. And, uh, it was, you know, um, bad habit gun dogs, Amelia's, Mm -hmm. um, dog gun box. How do you say it? A a bird dog box or dog box on the back. Yeah. Dog box. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, that thing's fascinating and it's so well done. And yeah. So that blew me away right off the bat. So that was like in my first introduction to you. I remember I was like, yeah, man, that's so awesome. I had no idea what something like that costed or cost. And I was like, I I remember talking to you at your shop and I was like, I don't know, what is that? You know? And you're like, 
You know, <laughs> so it's like, a ton, ton, ton of work, man. <laughs> ton of work goes in, in into that project. You know, even the, the design of it costs what I thought it cost. You know, <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, you know, she had a special application. You know, yeah. and uh, that's that's what we do. I'm I'm a problem solver um, by nature, um, so I I love to take something that somebody goes, oh, I, you know, I don't know how we're going to get around this, and like my mind just starts going, mm. the gears start turning and. And, uh, and I'm just blessed in that manner to be able to have that capability. Um, so someone who works with you in the, uh, in the, in our community here, um, he, he said that, uh, he said, I was talking to him the other day and he was to he, all the good things he had to say about you. And he was saying, Jeremiah is, he's not like a, a welder, or a, you know, current, he's not a, he's not a metal fabricator. He's, he's like a metal artist. Yeah. Is how he describes you. I'm like, yeah, yeah. from what I've seen and what yeah. I've gotten to know, that's exactly right. I mean, we do a lot of boring stuff. Don't get me wrong. You know, yeah. Brackets and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of boring stuff that goes out of my shop. <laughs> right. yeah. But, you know, when somebody asks you, you know, what, what do you do? What can you do? I'm like, man, like. Everything I like the like we, gate we are entrances. Capable. Yeah, the gate. I mean, everything's fun. You know, yeah. I, I like I like the artistic your, ability. Yeah, you have to draw that out first. Yeah, everything's. So I meet with the customer. Uh, you know, I get kind of their input. A lot of times, I get pictures from Pinterest or something of mm -hmm. that nature. You know, and and they'll tell me, you know, I kind of want this, kind of want that. So uh, my goal is to take what they tell me and and uh, transform it into something even better than what they had in their mind. Cause right. some people just aren't gifted in a creative way. They appreciate it, mm -hmm. but they can't well, make it happen that. in their mind. Mm -hmm. And, um, like I said, that's one thing that just, you know, when they start talking, I mean, it starts getting built in my mind and then I just transfer it to computer, a CAD program, 3d CAD program, so they can see it. Did you used to teach that in your ad classes? A okay, CAD program? Yes. Yeah, I did actually. I, yeah. Curtis yeah, told that's me awesome. that. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a skill that, somebody could take off with don't you think oh yeah i mean it's um it's you know invaluable for somebody who wants to be in the you know fabrication or engineering mm -hmm. department kind of thing so I, I taught that and some kids picked up on really quick and uh i remember there's two kids in alvord that just caught on so fast they were good friends and I was like, golly, I mean, they're going to be better at this than you know they're going to be better at this than i am at the end of this class that's and, awesome and they were you know it, both of them are mechanical engineers now. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, but yeah. so it, it ticked with them, you know, so it, it got, they locked it and they, they dug into it. So, so you use that and you, it can be from. You know what? Funny enough, um, one of my really big contacts uh, came from social media because okay. somebody saw uh, stuff we did on social media and they looked at my website yeah. and they called me. So. Yeah. That's awesome. Bam. It works. It works. It's it's out there, and it can be extremely beneficial. So websites are tough, man, because I think websites are the last thing that they find first. They don't find the website first usually. Right. It's Not anymore. Not no, anymore. No, no, no. But no. I still think it solidifies it at the end. Like, they're mm -hmm. weed you out, weed you out, and then if they've dove enough into you, and they're like, all right, I trust this guy because I see his face on his Facebook, or I get he's a real person. You know, mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. It's not clip art pictures. It's not. A, it's a real thing. Yeah. Then they may go to the website and solidify it by okay, he's got a website. Right, it's, it's yeah. The end. I, I hate that part of that, but I but really think it's true. That's the business end of it because Facebook it gets you out there, right, and uh, and it connects you in a somewhat personal way. You mm -hmm. know, they see me, they see my guys, they see the work I do mm -hmm. on. You know, a regular. Not everything I do gets posted. I mean, like I said, a lot of stuff's boring. You know, right, wants to look at it bracket that holds up you know another steel beam that's never going to get seen before because it's covered up you know nobody wants to see that so um but they see you on facebook or instagram or you know whatever snapchat mm -hmm. and they go okay and say so they dig into it they start locking it and then the website is what solidifies it that's the business end of yep. it so um, who built your website uh cory spicer yep. yeah yeah. Think Mints. Think Mints. Yep. Yeah. He does make yeah. a clean website. He's, he's, he's the one. Great. He's the one that uh, was the one telling me that you are a metal artist. Yeah. yeah. He's he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Corey's he uh, he did a great job on my website and mm -hmm. really went above and beyond for me. And, yeah, I know. That's and, the thing uh, about him. He, goes he, he does, he man. He he does. He goes. You know, he'll he really wants what's best for you. Um, and he's he's done a lot for me and a lot to come on the website. Just. Pending my time. Yeah. <laughs> I, know that. I know that. It's well, a that feeling. 
We have yet to get one for branded film and media. Yeah. We have domain names. We've got URLs. Yeah. We just haven't put it all together yet. Yeah, and website, you know, because I think, like I said, and even the Google aspect of it, you know, and um, y'all have been working on my Google page too, mm -hmm. whether you know that or not, y'all have, and the social media team has, and I can tell you that since they started doing that a couple of weeks ago, that I have definitely seen an increase in, because they'll send you notifications like yes. 269 know. people looked at your photo. Yeah, exactly, like, right? You know, so um, I didn't realize how much impact a picture on your Google profile could Google have. Google my business page. Google my business page. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I highly that's, recommend it. It's that's crazy. what, that's, I was blown away when they started posting on my, my Google My Business. You it's know, a social it, media platform. It, it is. Google it is. It to be. Yeah. I, I think it. I think it very well could be mainly business well, related. I apologize. It's not a social media platform. It's a another avenue for somebody to weed out your business. It's a business media platform. Business media. Yeah. I mean, I get it because I. I was surprised every time I upload a picture, it sends me a notification. Hey, two hundred and sixty people I know, looked at your picture. Crazy. I was like, like, "Golly, it's just a picture of a house, you know." And they yeah. love it. Like, it's crazy. It's it's really impressive. Google's pushing it. They, yeah. it, they are, and um, I think it's very beneficial for businesses to get on there and, and do that. It's a basic. I mean, I, if I, you know, I started. We're going to start a Lake Bridgeport boat and RV storage deal, and. And I created a pro profile just to get the Google domains and all that. Oh, and yeah. I went in and went through the process. It's so simple to follow. It's easy. Um, and then I did it, and I didn't put any pictures. I you know, made sure I was registered on Google Maps mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And we're not ready to launch yet, but it was not even a day or two later, I got a notification saying, hey, we're looking to store a boat. We're looking to do this. I know, man. So it's, it's crazy. Just, and no pictures. No, I didn't have anything. So like, people were searching for everything. Yeah, and I honestly forgot about it. Like, I set it up, whatever, a long time ago. And um, when they when the social media team started posting on it for me, I was like, oh, I was just looking here. It's amazing how many phone calls I get from Google. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people clicked on your call, you know, to call you, or so many people got your address, you know, clicked on your address. I was like, oh, man, yeah. that's crazy. Well, it's a back, I think there's so much to talk about that, and it's it's all trackable. It's got insights. You can see the reports. Yeah, it really shows neat. you what your return on your investment really is. Yeah, and that's what I love yeah, about yeah. marketing stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so it's uh, long story short. I know we kind of varied off, uh, you know, here and there. But yeah, so that's that's how I got to Cater. I love Decatur. I love the community. I love the size of Decatur, and um, I'm really, really loving what this community is going towards because mm -hmm. we're going to grow. There's just no doubt about it. No, no stopping. If you haven't seen it already, then you're blind or you know, Not you just don't want it, to living yeah. on the rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you don't want to see. You're it. in denial. Yeah, yeah, yeah in denial. For sure. So, uh, but Decatur's handling it in such a way and moving towards handling it in such a way that um, it's going to be accepting and it's going to grow. But I think we're going to keep this feel of what I fell in love with About six Decatur. years ago, yep. seven years ago. Yeah, it's a. We would like to, it's going to be growing, but we still want to keep that small town heritage. Feeling, yeah, you know, it's so. definitely. I mean, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, it's great. There's a lot of cool things going on, and so now um, people are aware, um, you know, like of, of where to take the, even the arts. You know, we had right. an art consortium. Yeah, uh, yeah, last week. That, yeah. You know, and that was a really cool thing. Mm -hmm. you know, art, art people coming together knowing that art needs to be a big part of keeping it unique and keeping mm -hmm. it its own little community here. Absolutely. Um, so we've been a part of those types of things coming on and, and to see the community come together that way was amazing. Um, great things to come and it's, um, it's exciting for everyone. To be, yeah. For everyone. So uh, what's on the horizon for you in craft fabrication, anything, you know, you got going on that's uh, in the near future or, Man, we are, um, you know, honestly just so blessed to be able to have the amount of business we have and the amount of trust we have from the community. Um, but we do a lot of work for custom home builders um, of all different types. I mean. So, uh, like, what's a, something you would do for them? Like a. Uh, hand railings. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, decorative brackets, sometimes structural brackets. Um you know, balcony railings, metal staircases. Stuff you can't just walk into a lumber yard and purchase. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's custom stuff and, and it's not, they're not stamped out houses, you know. Yeah. And so Makes you get sense. that, you get that extra feel and, and I get called in and I get to, you know, usually get to talk with the client, the homeowner to see, you know, I already know what they want going into the, going into it. But uh, that's when I sit down with them and go, okay, you know, here's your house. 
your, your angles. You got you have a lot of curves. You got a lot of sharp angles. Whatever. Let's make it match. Let's make it look good. Mm. And get their feel on, you know, they're like tradition, you know, like like traditional or more contemporary, or very modern, you know. So I get to, I get to go through that, and I get to, you know, nail down exactly what it is they want, put it on the CAD program. They see it, oh yeah, love it, or you know, no, you know, I'd like to change this a little bit. And it's really easy to ch- change on the CAD program compared to real life after we built it, going back and changing it. Mm-hmm. It's a lot cheaper on them too. <laughs> uh, okay. So we, you know, but they know exactly what they're going to get, and so when we build it. You know, it's like, oh man, this is exactly what I wanted. You know, thank you know, thank you or whatever. And, and that's that's my goal. I want to make them happy. I want them to get exactly what they want. Yeah, so, absolutely. You think you're gonna stay out there in your shop now, or do you have any plans to move anywhere? Or what do you, you know, think? It's, it's a good, uh, good, good question. Um, uh, and so now's now's uh, really my time to grow. Uh, mm-hmm. I said I've told several people that lately. Um, hit that next step. I still want to keep you know, the, the community at, at, at large, as far as how I deal with them, relationships and, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep that feel. So figure out how I'm going to keep that and move to that next level and where that's going to put me at. And, um, you know, <clears throat> how I'm going to make sure I have the quality employees, mm-hmm. uh, to fulfill those orders. So if you're looking for a job and you like what I do, then, give me a buzz because yeah it that's great people. man yeah yeah i mean if you are you hires a few hires away from taking it to the next level or is this like i mean not next level but like what in your vision of the next are you is it hiring is it it's uh, hiring, building man. is it's, it material it's, it's, is just, there it's hiring right now wow. it's, it's, it's just hiring i think you know and i like to i like to have an insight on who i hire um because i don't just hire the average joe you know because again i'm i'm a quality builder mm-hmm. and i want to make sure that's i want to make sure they understand that and that they put that into the work that they're doing in my shop when i'm not there when i'm out meeting with another client make sure that they do it right so yep. it's a uh, it's interesting it's an interesting thing to find um an employee like that but i've got a couple that are you know rock solid um and that i can trust with anything and that's how i'm going to keep it you know i just want to keep that so find those quality individuals to help take me to that next level is, is what it is. Cause I don't want to just hire somebody to throw something together and yep. ship it out. Speaking of hiring, tell him about his uh, wife. Yeah. Yeah. So Capri is now part of the social yeah. media, branded film and media, uh, social media team. And she's been a rock star. She's, um, she's taken on even more clients and, um, she's ready to rock and roll. She's, uh, she knows her stuff and she's passionate and she cares about the community and the people that she works yes. with. And so, uh, she's just been a delight to get to know over the past, you know, couple months. And yeah. Yeah. Talk so, about mm. hiring and you got to hire somebody that represents us. Well, it, I think it's pretty clear that we care about our clients and, we're not going to go hire somebody that doesn't care right, about that client. Right. And, and, and that carries through on how the work ethic portrays on what we give back our, their service, you know, like yeah, what exactly. we post and how we post it and how often and how we don't just throw something out, but it's, it's, you got to get to know them. So yeah, she's good. Yeah. I, yeah. I told her cause I actually heard it on a podcast, you know, mm-hmm. saying y'all talking about, you know, if you're interested in doing something like this, give us a buzz. I told Capri, I said, you need to go talk to them. Mm-hmm. I said, I think, that position or a position with them, I said, I think you could really uh, blossom in. And you know, mm-hmm. I said, you're very personable, you know, um, y- you know how to run Facebook. You know, she she had her own business a couple of years ago before, you know, pre-kids, more or less. And uh, she did very well with that. Yeah, she had a bunch of, a bunch of, of followers, like 30,000 like 30, followers Yeah, yeah, I got around 30,000. So I said, uh, right. yeah, so – Talk about mind blowing, right? So yeah. she knows how to she knows how to work it, yeah. and um, I told her I said it'd be worth a be worth a call or a, a text or a talk. So she actually already had Marie's um, phone number because I had it, and Marie always hounds her for pictures for me because I'm terrible about getting content to y'all. So <laughs> <laughs> to grab his phone, and yeah. Like, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> uh, so she talked to Marie, and and uh, I think she met with Marie and Cooper. Uh, one time and then I said well what do you think she's like I can do that oh yeah she could I said oh, I know you can I wrote and told you to go talk to him she said she said what do you think I said they're a young company but I said they're doing great things and I said I mean we can vouch for them mm-hmm. what they do because we know what they've done for us so I said hop on board yep 
it was weird. Yeah. Cooper and I were yeah, sitting back and we had a meeting this week and we had every member of branded, you know, part timers, you know, mm. everybody that we have on, on staff. And it was, it was a real, it was, was it Monday this week? Yeah, it was I Monday. It was Monday. Okay, so it was real, it was and it a wasn't real even shock. really planned. It was real shock. We all walked <laughs> in, we all had a meeting and we all, and I looked around the room and I, and I, and I told him and I told Cooper after, I was like, Cooper, it used to be just you and I. <laughs> it used to be just Cooper and I, and then we yeah. merged with Marie, and then there for a while it was Marie, all th- just us three, and then we looked in this room, and there was nine people in the room. Yeah, there That's were so nine awesome. people, nine or ten people in this room, and you were sitting here, it, it was like we're we're gonna need a bigger space, <laughs> <laughs> it, and it was so surreal to sit back and yep. see, and um and like it, it all just kind of happened naturally. We didn't really plan to have an entire company wide mm-hmm. meeting, yeah. uh, but you know we just kind of all found ourselves here at the same time. Like, well, okay, since everyone's here now, <laughs> I guess we're gonna go ahead and have this meeting, and it was just uh, surreal to sit back and, and see I, everybody. You know, honestly, I looked at all of them. I said, this there's room for growth in this room. I mean, yeah. everybody can take on more. Mm-hmm. We have the opportunity to take on more business. Who's going to step it up? Yeah. And not necessarily saying it that way, but just right. don't give up on us because we have what it's com- what's coming. And I how mean, much do you want to put into this? Yeah, that's exactly. The more that they put into it, the more money they can make as a, an employee and then our, our opportunity to expand, expand yeah. this Definitely, culture man. that we've created. Yeah, I've got is, something really good going on right yeah. now. I mean, good enough that I'd see my wife to come talk to you. Yeah. Well, well, no, yeah. yeah, I know we appreciate it. She's yeah. been, like I said, she's been a rock star and she's ready to rock and roll. And so she's taking on more clients. And so everyone's going to see a lot more Capri green out there yeah. uh, for branded yeah. film and media. It's um, easy on your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's brownie great. points right there. brownie, yeah. brownie oh, points <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got a great team and um cooper's video team reed clark yeah, yeah michael uh, and you y'all are behind the camera stuff is 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 rolling and then marie's social media you got jacoba Man, got so much good things rolling right now mm-hmm. name everybody on the social media so what do we have we have jacoba we have brie rundle we so have Bree just a little bit ago. Capri Green. We have um, who else is over there? Who is, it? is it Emily? Emily's on deck because she's going to start with us. I think on August first. Once we get yeah. this documentary wrapped up, mm-hmm. I think she's going to come on start because we're bringing on new clients in August as well, starting in August. So. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, so is that? I think am I missing it. somebody? I don't think so. Yeah, Marie's in there. Did you say yeah, Marie? Marie, 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 Marie. Marie. Marie is in there. <laughs> yeah. And then, my, yeah, so, yeah, we're up to 9 or 10, I guess. And then if we bring Emily on, it'll be 10 or 11, so. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and I think that that's the way to, like, you know, companies that are out there and they don't know, like Marie, she didn't know how to expand. Um, Casey and I didn't really know how to expand and grow, and, and it's just like you, you need to hire. You need to hire quality people. Yes. So if you're ready quality. to expand, yeah. if you're ready to expand, um, hire on those folks uh, and get those jobs yes. rolling. Uh, anyone out there who's paying attention to this and it kind of feels like they've plateaued in their business uh, and they're ready to expand go ahead and uh, take the plunge and hire yeah, those folks and mm-hmm. hire market because uh, we tell hire. we yep. tell people all right if we do this what do you what systems what process processes do you have in place right to answer these leads these calls who's going to answer this phone yes. like, in these instant messages like who mm-hmm. is it is it mm-hmm. is it you or is it your wife is it an employee you know what is that yeah, yeah. you got to be prepared i mean you know, yes. you, you, you increase your phone calls by 20, 30, 50 percent or 100 percent or more. I mean, it's if you're bit if you think you're busy and you're filling that many more phone calls, it's tough. Man. It's, it's tough. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's, you know, it's, it's a good place to be, though. It's a great place to be, you know, and that, and that speaks for, you know, who you are and what company you run and and uh, the quality of the work you do for your clients. So, um, you know, that's why we all have just blown up. Uh, Enough about us. Yeah. Jeremiah, you're yeah. the real deal. We well, appreciate you, man. man that's, yeah, man. dude. I'm here to promote y'all as much as I am. <laughs> oh, also, you if, you haven't, if you haven't watched our video, um, Jeremiah, uh, for the video for the shop, he, uh, he, he starred. Case and Jeremiah both oh, starred. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, the video. that was fun. Yeah. yeah. That was a fun video. Cooper, yeah. Hey, Cooper had to coach me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He was a natural. He was a natural. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was a good time. We'll do some more of those. We do. You are uh, you are on uh, coming up for a video for Crown Fabrication. Hey, like I said, you know, whenever, whenever, uh, and like I told you, and I told you this. I said, you know, I, I said, whenever you have downtime, fit me in. I said, I hope 
that never happens. And I hope I have to come to you and tell you, Cooper, <laughs> I really need a video. Yeah. And I'm glad to say that, you know, it's to the point now, not on my end, but where if I needed a video, I'd have to say, Cooper, let's get it going. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. put put me on the books for real. Yeah. You know, so that's it's that's that exciting. Point. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's exciting. at that point. Yeah. Well, I think uh we covered everything and I know there's a whole lot more we could cover, but I'm gonna I'm gonna punch the the sound and let's, let's do it. You wanna you wanna exit us, Cooper? Yeah, I can yeah, I can send us out. Thank so, you, Jeremiah. Thanks, Jeremiah, for being here. Uh, everyone, thanks for tuning in to another fun episode here at Branded Film and Media Podcast here on the Square, Decatur, Texas. We will catch all of you next time. Take care of yourselves. Uh, thanks for having me, guys. Later, brother. Good job, Cooper. That's a good job, guys.